centre of the so that it's spinning nicely, you know what I mean? When I found the middle, give it a tap there. And I've made a little hole, there's a bit of bark there I just want to remove. Just like that. So I've got my little hole. And I'll just enlarge that hole slightly. Like that. And then up here I've just got a bit of sunflower oil. High tech sunflower oil. And, uh, a bit of oil on here to help it spin a bit. And I put a string around that bit. Drop that wedge in there. So that's firmly in, and then uh, I can start cutting. So I set the sleeve. And then quick. get the shape, chop the corners off, and another pass to the Now. Just do a bit more at this end. Just allow me to get under there. That and then I just need to follow the inside curve of the bowl. It hasn't taken long, but you know, since you saw me start it, if you had a mechanical aid, it would turn it faster, but it would take you this much time to get it on the thing, you know, to get it set up. If you imagine now. When this started off, it had bark on, didn't it? Yeah. And the bark was going around that edge there, so the grain of the wood is running through there. So there's not a lot of strength in there anymore. Where I'm making this thinner. So now I've undercut that. I'll just make sure that the bottom is a bit smooth. And using my hand, I can check it for thickness. It's about right. So then that bit just break off there now, see? And then I can knock the wedge out. And that will come out. And, and now all I've got to do is, I don't need that bit anymore. So I've just got to smooth the inside of there and chop that bit off and I've got a bow. Then I just want to chop that off, trim that bit off.